Hello and welcome back to the Fire Emblem playthrough with the Jelly Monkey. And me, Sven the Crusader. Hey, like a map. Yes. Last time we easily taken care of a banister, but unfortunately we're now eh, framed for a crime we didn't commit. So we're going to have to go back and get help. Yeah. Um, basically, help. Someone help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we've gone to anywhere too. Eh, it'll do. <laughs> <laughs> It's not like we know anyone else at this point, or at least no one who's actually friendly towards us. <laughs> but yeah, the general gist is that um, anyone's basically told all the other people, um, all the other, I don't know what else you'd call them, mini nations, oat lands, or whatever, the other Marquesses of um, Lycia to not interfere, basically. Yep, because he's nice like that. <laughs> yeah. Although, he said, as he apologised, he can't help you. Actually, thinking about it, what would you call them? Would, you, would a states be a good word, or...? I don't really know. I think I've seen someone call them city-states. Hmm. I guess that could be it. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly an empire. It's too small for that, but... <laughs> and, whilst all that... Oh, we have a dramatic use it for fog now, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, admittedly the fight does break out soon, but they don't know that, we don't see- uh, they haven't- those troops have shown up, it's just fog, we're having to run- <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, put simply, this is a tutorial on fog missions, and all thieves can basically see a much wider area, but- Hang on, here comes a new challenger. Oh my, he's wearing massive armor. Wonder what his class could be. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's... Maybe he's a cleric. Curious, but then again, I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Depends on which game you're playing, but uh, that's not a story for this one. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, this guy is General Wallace, and... Yeah, he's become, obviously, your first armored unit. Well, very heavily armored unit in the game, I should say. Yeah, basically the one that you put on a bridge and wait for people to come and hit him. Basically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, he wasn't said Ooh, to kill... awesome music. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I will admit, this is pretty awesome music. <laughs> oh, damn it, I forget what it's called. Uh, uh, I don't either. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I had a look at the soundtrack listing, but yeah, essentially uh, this guy was sent here to kill us, but they basically all he had to do was look into Lin's eyes, and then he decided to join her. Well, that's uh, interesting. Guess he's that experienced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wish all arguments were this easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we would be... I doubt we'd be being tried to kill. <laughs> yes, that is true. <laughs> but... Anyway, there is a second element to, that we're being taught about th this level. Promotion. Basically, when you get add certain items, you can promote your classes to even stronger units. So, Wallace is a knight. With the knight crest, he can promote into a general. Yeah, the only problem is, most people would suggest promoting your units at level 20. The tutorial has different ideas. Yeah, it forces you to do it right then and now. See, you can promote them from level 10 onwards, but the maximum is 20, so if you want to maximize their stats and make them as strong as they can be, it's better to use them, you know, later on, like Sven said, at level 20. Yeah. Not at level 12, because uh, we've just made spoilers a really bad unit. Yeah. But still, for the prologue, he's still pretty good. And although... <laughs> There is something I find comical, not on yet badass about the generals, but oh well. <laughs> what is that? Um. <laughs> sorry, I was just distracted by Wallace's badass burst there, but yeah, I. <laughs> the armor kind of just looks a little silly in the fact that um. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna drag it out for a moment and just say, yeah, it. This place you can get a tor torch ship. Uh, in fog missions is. Useful to carry a torch because again that improves your visibility, which means you can actually see enemies coming. Yeah, which uh, can be a lifesaver. Trust it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And I think after this point I speed up, but no, no, I fade away. There we go. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, there's another element of this chapter that's going to get annoying really quickly is that reinforcements come out of the um, fortress spaces during e no, during the uh, beginning of each and every single enemy turn, so you can't actually react to it until it's too late. Yeah, they, and they keep coming for a very long time. Oh yes, so it's going to be very painful. But yeah, it's time Unless... to use... Sorry, go ahead. Unless, of course, we plug Wallace right there and just let everybody hit him. That was my intention. <laughs> In fact, the um, strategy the I suggest for this is actually plugging strong people into um, uh, just outside of the, the um, fortress, the spaces, so like, they can just take, kill all of them, basically. Yeah, I do that pretty much every playthrough. Put Lynn down by the one that spawns the bandits at the south. Put yep, somebody um, who uses a sword up by the fortress up yeah. north. That's pretty much what we're doing here. Or, actually, the thing, the thing about Wallace's position is if you keep everyone else away from the um, fortress space in the middle, they both go for Wallace, so... <laughs> Guess they're scared of him. Yeah. That's all they're stupid I... enough to try and pick a fight of him. Although, it's gonna... <laughs> They're now going to face with um, the um, generals, and now I'll finally set anyone. Well, it's just that they always remind me of robots, because there's <laughs> or some kind of weird Japanese mecha, because I don't know, it's the entire fighting style. It just doesn't look human. I mean, look at that. What's propelling the spear forward, I ask? I've never actually noticed that before. <laughs> <laughs> it, what is it? It's not, it's not like gas canisters in there. Was what it, do the general classes just figure out? Them? <laughs> and and furthermore, he has a chain mechanism to pull the spear back. Exactly. And that's that was... even more ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um. Actually, I mean, I've done... you cannot. You cannot <laughs> baton spin a spear that fast in armor the size of a car. <laughs> Definitely not. I mean, God, I, 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 yeah. It's really hard to move when you're wearing armor. I take it from experience. It's even harder to spin a spear in one hand. For God. Yeah, and, and I swear it almost looks like he switches hands halfway through just to show off how <laughs> that does well moves in a tank. Yeah, that does actually sound like Wallace or something, though. Well, actually, actually, it, it does. <laughs> yeah, but it gets even worse now because we got the axe, which he just throws at them, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these the, the physics of these older Fire Emblem games really don't make sense at all. Yeah, when you think about it, no, they don't. Although, actually, there, moving on, there is one slight flaw in my strategy, which I don't realize until too late. Which is, um, yeah, I should have moved Dorcas back a bit because, um, the bandits on the mountain, which gives him a lot of evasion, which means, yeah, that happens. Yeah, that, and speaking of bad physics, the brigands, they jump through the air, spin, and come back down. What? Yeah. <laughs> I swear it's like I'm wa I swear it's like I'm watching some bad shonen anime. Yeah, to be honest, fair, I think that's what it was based on. To you, <laughs> I can tell. You have flying axemen. You have you have <laughs> practical tanks that are the generals that can yeah. spin spears in one hand, <laughs> switch hands during the animation. Yeah, and let's not forget at Lin's anime, uh, the um, critical she just disappears and then reappears. It's <laughs> yeah. Oh, Matthew just floating just out of general awesomeness. So. Yeah, he he floats, sticks his sword in to someone for uh, support, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Actually, compared to all of that, the Pegasus seems fairly normal. Yeah. <laughs> and I did not believe I said that. <laughs> Considering they're riding on a flying horse, that, yeah. that's normal by Fire Emblem standards, people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it gets even more ridiculous whenever, well, it's bound to happen eventually. The paladin animations for the criticals, oh, they, charge yeah. in they charge in place for about <laughs> two seconds. <laughs> yeah, I get... I guess the idea is that they don't have enough space for it to run back, but even so, it just looks silly. <laughs> 
Oh, and then there's the nomad troopers, the promoted nomads. The critical is them leaping through the air, horse included, <laughs> slamming back down with their sword. Oh, and, yeah. And then leaping back. It makes no physical <laughs> sense. Uh, you, you don't have to spend hours training your horse, but... <laughs> yeah, we'll spend more time talking about that later when we actually see the nomadic units. Uh, and hopefully somebody, and hopefully nobody gets criticaled by them, because that'll suck. Yeah, although, actually, to be fair, one of the few people who actually use rap in the um, later stages of the game, so... <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> ah, throwing the axe with no propulsion. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's kind of... Under, it's just odd, it, makes, it sounds like they're mechas, it's kind of... You expect them to start all yelling some stupid attack mode like SUPER AXOR! I don't... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god. Uh, first... Uh, so, suddenly we've just... Suddenly we've just implemented Full Metal Panic into, into Fire Emblem. Great. <laughs> uh, first we they introduced the crop shots, then Spear Swatter, and now we're introducing mechas. What the... <laughs> <laughs> we have made this playthrough into insanity. Yeah, even that or a, co a new collection of memes, one of them. Well, actually... Although it's, although it's not as meme-tastic as, uh, well done, Ephraim. That is true. Although then again, but... <laughs> then again, to start on me, we would have to actually, you know, have a large fan base and move to... <laughs> It's taken a while to get us off the ground, let's just put it that way. Yeah. Not that we don't appreciate our, our very few subscribers. We love you all. <laughs> yes, 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 we do in a in a completely completely normal manner. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, yes, indeed. I, <laughs> I am in a random mood today. Good God. Uh, yeah, I think, think it might. <laughs> I think my strange observations haven't helped much. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what material I can think of. How little sense Fire Emblem makes when yeah. I think about it. <laughs> Well, generally, video games don't make sense when you... <laughs> it's kind of like me with the whole Mega Man playthrough. When you actually start thinking about everything that's going on, you realize there is too much weirdness here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like how you said in VGT, you shouldn't pay much attention to Pac-Man or think what's happening yeah. too hard. Because <laughs> otherwise you'll be there, Why am I in a dark room? Why am I having to eat things? What's going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's even worse than Donkey Kong Country Jr., I have to say, but that's what... Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you teleport in that, don't you? <laughs> pretty much, yes. Uh, back oh, yeah, on to... About 50 miles off topic. Yeah, to going back to a serious walkthrough uh, stuff. Ba if you're using the um, Florida, you want, want to um, make absolutely sure all that she keeps out of range of the archers, they tend to head around the northeastern corner, so be afraid. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't send a flying unit up there. You will be in pain, trust us. <laughs> oh yes. And that was the first and last appearance of the uh, Miradon units. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. <laughs> in this in this arc at least, I'll call yeah, it in this prologue they Yeah, they all pit They'll reappear eventually, but yeah, this is the first and last time you see them. Which actually kind of yeah. is a bit odd. Yeah, kind of. It is kind of strange that you never see them again in the prologue, but then again, we're in the ending. That is true. We're like this is like the second last chapter. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention that all in all us. <laughs> we were too busy being insane. Yeah, we apologize. Oh, we We've been insane so long, the video's almost over. <laughs> okay then, so, that was me, the Chuddy Monkey. And me, Swim the Crusader. Now, uh, <clears throat> where am I? 